Construction crews started clearing the grounds for the new K-103 building. It's set to house the MCK Language and Culture Programs offices as well as the K-103 offices. KTV spoke to some of the K-103 staff, board members and Chief Gasanahoe Sky Deer as they get set to break ground in the near future. Yes, this is the spot, the moment we've been waiting for. Um, it's very exciting for, of course, everyone at K103, but I'm sure the community is equally as excited because we've been hearing about this forever and it's finally coming true. This has been a long-term goal for K103 and this is going to be the spot for the new building. Uh, we should be in the new building by July 2014. Oh, it's, it's exciting as hell because, uh, well, having worked in that old building now for five years and with all its quirks and uh, idiosyncrasies, you know, it's, it's, uh, it's a lot of fun to, to think about a, a whole new building with proper studios and everything. It's going to be a, a, a really something. Well, for one thing, K103 has been in the building that it's been in for 32 years, give or take. And, I mean, it's been home. It's, boy, if the walls could talk, right? <laughs> but let's face it, the walls are creaking badly, the floors the whole bit. We do have, it's time to move. We can't expand, we can't grow with technology. So the radio station will. Um, also with the plans for the new building, it's going to be on one floor, so easily accessible to the community. That's a big point. We are a community station, we have to serve the community. It's, you know, the stairs to heck, uh, to put it mildly, at the building that we're in now. And also to be able to grow, to serve the community. What does this mean for, for language and culture in terms of the MCK and, and beyond that? Well, I think first I have to clarify that there is a big misunderstanding in the community that uh, the MCK Language and Culture Training Center is a duplication of service of what KOR does when actuality uh, all of the organizations in the community had a mandate to develop their own program to help their employees to get up their language proficiency and understanding of, the, of our culture. Uh, so for us to get a new building and uh, to also continue to promote for our employees to get involved in the program, it's a five-year program and again it's just ensuring that our existence as Ganyagahaga people is always carried on through our language and culture. It's so important and vital to our existence. To have this opportunity for the community, for the employees at K103, it's just an amazing experience to be able to have input in a brand new facility and to have this station grow with the community. I think that's the key. Just, I mean, it's exciting for everybody. It's a big achievement. You know, it's something uh, you get, you kind of get used to working in the old building and it's home, but this next step means that there's a future for K103 and that's exciting.